Leo, Telegraph first, not surprisingly. Uh, of the many revelations to come from this leak, this is among the most enraging, I think. Yeah, this is hilarious. So English school children had to wear masks because ministers didn't want a political row with Nicola Sturgeon. Extraordinary. So they, they decided that devolved parliaments could set their own COVID rules. And obviously that created this arms race where the, the devolved parliaments wanted to look tougher on COVID and keeping yeah. you safer than Westminster. So Nicola Sturgeon was like, oh, we're going to put masks on all the children. And uh, unfortunately not to stop chips going on their faces. Should have done that a while, while ago. Uh, but then uh, to, to keep up with it, uh, Boris Johnson had to, had to go along and put mandate masks for, for English yeah. uh, children, uh, despite English Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty saying there were no very strong reasons to do so. He had, he made some extraordinary, I mean, I mean I'll be honest with you, I was not terribly impressed by Whitty, although it may have been partly, you know, manner and, and you know, I don't know, his, his, his whole, like his, his presentational skills, they lacked drive and energy and verve, didn't they, Chris Whitty? There was something of the sort of three-toed sloth about him. But <laughs> it, was, it was very but, public sector. But yeah, but I mean, he said that there's no strong argument for it or no strong argument against it. So maybe it would be easier just to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, come I, on, this is, this is quite yeah. important. Yeah, yeah. It's not like going, yeah. going, shall I take my umbrella or not? I bet if I take it, it doesn't rain. But if I don't, <laughs> well, that, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's fine. Yeah, this is millions of children we're yes, affecting, exactly. you know? Extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, at least he was giving the scientific advice and we were told people were following the science and yes. that's my favourite discipline, so I'm now more annoyed... <laughs> the science. <that> the science. <laughs> it's just science. Yeah, the, but now that's we've got a bit the article like the in the Facebook, it. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I listen to The Oasis. Yeah. And, uh, but stop taking the science name in vain yeah. because now it turns out they just didn't want to look bad in a rap. Politicians yeah. not wanting to look bad is going to be the bottom line of this. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. And Matt Hancock is so all about his own image. Get away from the TV. Every time he comes back for another interview or something to try and look good, yeah. it's not going to work because in your core, you're not good. So stop <laughs> showing us who you are. But all that, every attempt to, to like, yeah, play politics and, and kind of second guess what the other guys were going to do or never, yeah. always ends badly. So I've got, I've got some sympathy here because nobody wants to look like they're keeping children less healthy than Scottish children. No, that's <laughs> true. I mean, if that's the barometer, you want to be above it. Nobody wants to look like they're more, more of a psycho than Nicholas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Generally speaking, that's true. Steve, staying with The Telegraph... And the Hancock files, further evidence that kids were thrown under the bus for the sake of an easy life, part two. Yeah, meanwhile, in WhatsApps, uh, the government knew that there was no robust rationale in, uh, to include the children in the rule of six. Uh, even these phrases bring me back in the cold sweats, remembering rule of six. Mm. Uh, so it's similar to the, the rest of them, that it's all about how the government looks. They're more worried about their image than anything else. So yeah. the rule limited the number of people that could gather in one place. But if you include kids and you've got a few kids, that's it. You shut down straight away. Yeah. But in Scotland and Wales, they had an exemption for this. So actually, we could have been chasing to look as good as other parts of the UK. But right. for some reason in this one, no. Yeah. Helen Waitley, who sent a message saying that she wanted to lose, uh, loosen it in tier one, Tears. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but Matt Hancock, again, um, was saying that they, they didn't want to move on this. They didn't want to move on it. That's interesting, isn't it? Again, it feels like it's a messaging thing. It feels like it was kind of they didn't want to look as if they were dithering or weak or they'd had to re-examine the evidence. Yes, uh, in a different part of the communication, they say it's about easier communication, easier to communicate rule yeah. of six rather than saying does not include kids. I think we can... Yeah. We're not that stupid that we can't <laughs> yeah. understand... Oh, I have a yeah, tiny we, bit we of... We can do it for roller coasters. <laughs> yeah. You know... <laughs> I have a tiny bit of sympathy with that. There are some people who struggle with, you know, uh, sub, sub, they deserve, <laughs> subordinate clauses. They deserve to die out anyway. And they so are the people no who problem. are likely to have had five or six kids as well. So <laughs> <laughs> and haven't worked out they can't yeah, afford them. To have a policy that there's no robust rationale for, but just because it's easier to communicate. I mean, I can see how Nazi Germany happened. Yeah. It's like, well, this is a terrible yes, idea, it. but it's easy to communicate. Well, there was an element of that, wasn't there? If you have any Jewish blood in you, at all, it's out, you know, and they had a thing in America, of course, where they got that policy from, the one-drop rule, which is still used to this day, if you have any Negro blood, as the term would have been then, that, uh, that you were that are tainted by it. Mm. And it is extraordinary how that can just appeal to people who are trying to become, you know, set up a little tyranny on, on mm. the hoof. Yeah. Because it just, uh, it just simplifies everything and everyone goes, 
Oh, well, that's the rule then, I guess. Yeah. You know, you know there's no room for... You find that in, your own, in our own lives. We always know when there seems to be a little bit of... A little bit of room for negotiation, a little bit of wriggle room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Try and get into work for around 10 a.m. That's it, 10 to Exactly. However, in this case, not good. China now, Leo, and uh, evidence months ago that we were right about the source of the pandemic on this show as yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Despite uh, headliners and GB News being, being castigated as conspiracy the theorists, conspiracy it turns theorists. out the FBI, no other than the FBI. <laughs> to be fair, they are pretty good conspiracy theorists as well. The yeah, FBI, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we're not dealing with uh, who, shot, who shot JFK <laughs> or even who shot JR here, but the FBI <laughs> believe that COVID-19 originated in a Chinese-controlled government lab. Uh, so that's, that's according to the director of the, the FBI. Yeah. says uh, the FBI has for some now assessed that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident in Wuhan. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what, what I thought as well. Yeah. And I was, I was called a far-right extremist conspiracy theorist, all the rest of it. The real conspiracy around the Wuhan lab leak, which, yeah. was, which was the idea was quashed in the left-wing media and, uh, you know, fact-checkers and everybody said, no, this is, this is a, a right-wing conspiracy. The real conspiracy is that 27 scientists signed a letter in the Lancet, which is, uh, used to be a respected medical publication, yeah. uh, saying that the, the Wuhan lab leak theory had no justification, there was no basis or, or uh, evidence for it. They all had connections to the lab. They were all, yeah. uh, to some extent, in the pay of the Chinese government and obviously pushing this, the, their own false narrative. And that is an actual conspiracy. That's that not is a theory. true. And the World Health Organization seem implicated as well, including, uh, was it his name, Tedros, whose line suddenly went dead that when he was great. asked what Taiwan <laughs> were up to. Yeah. That's I mean, one step insane. away from just holding it, <laughs> pretending it's <laughs> frozen. <laughs> oh, I <hope> <laughs> Extraordinary. I mean, one thing that needs addressing here is the term comes up regularly. They've assessed... That, uh, with low confidence that the pandemic is likely to have stemmed from a laboratory leak. And some people are going, well, that, you know, so they don't know. Yeah. Well, the point is they're saying it's, it's tilted away from 50-50 yeah. in the direction of the lab leak as yeah. against the other thing. And we'll, so it's still considerably more likely that it's a lab leak than that it's the other yeah. thing. And, they just haven't and we, may, we may never know because obviously the no. Chinese government are very opaque. Uh, but early on in the, in the uh, pandemic, uh, the New York Post ran a story about uh, lab technicians at the lab selling the cadavers of the animals yeah. uh, to basically butchers at the wet market, which, I mean, obviously is a way for, for viruses to get into, into right. us because you know, you eat a bat. If they from did the... that, I mean, that's that, that would be that would be like a smoking gun, and yeah. I mean, that was that would be a hot gun, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, the no, smoking no. pangolin. I love this quote. This is the response from the Chinese Foreign Ministry: "A lab leak is extremely unlikely, and that's the authoritative." Scientific conclusion reached by a joint team of experts from China and the WHO after they had visited related labs and had deep exchanges with scientists and researchers. I bet, I bet the WHO are kind of sweating right now. Oh, we had a serious... Did you leak it? Did you? Oh, OK, then. Well, any more on that, Steve? Well, I was just going to say, we need to make sure that we don't let this convince too many people on the internet because that you shouldn't have the thought going well if this is right i must be right about everything i think about that chemtrails is but well, that, that is... is the danger of course of them trying to present everyone who has yeah. a per perfectly reasonable question even mm. of, of getting them blocked and banned and people were thrown off twitter yeah. just for kind of think saying i don't know it seems odd to me that this outbreak should occur within cycling distance yeah. of the world's number one viral, you know, virology uh, investigation. Yeah, my YouTube channel was demonetised for mentioning it. So, yeah, basically, basically these, uh, yeah. The, the Guardian owe me loads of money. 